Surgical oncology basically is a field, it's a specialization of general surgery. And in the pediatric surgery world, we have pediatric surgical oncologists. And these are surgeons that specialize in the treatment of children with solid tumors or cancers that can be removed by surgical technique. We are an integral part of the cancer center and we rely on them for their exquisite care of these patients in the outpatient setting as well as the inpatient setting. And they rely on us to help remove these very complex tumors that we get in our program to help get them through to chemotherapy so that they can beat these and, and win against these cancers. There are many different types of solid tumors that are amenable to surgical therapy. There are many brain tumors, neuroblastomas, liver cancer, renal or kidney tumors in children, and a lot of the gonadal tumors like ovarian tumors or testicular tumors. I don't think Every center can offer this, but at Texas Children's, we really have the specialization. We have the divisions in the Department of Surgery that can help carry out these procedures in a very safe and effective manner. I focus on translational cancer biology, so we're trying to find pathways in cancer cells to target with specific molecule inhibitors or stimulators to try to get these pathways to either activate or deactivate will hopefully turn off the cancer and kill the cancer cells. A project that we have ongoing in the lab is to look at making liver surgery safer and more effective. And the way we're trying to do this is to basically create some sort of x-ray vision like uh, you would imagine Superman doing. And we're trying to develop technology that would enable the surgeon to be able to see within the liver beyond that brown, dark surface. We take uh, tumors from patients and we analyze them at the genomic level, looking at the DNA as well as RNA expression, and try to find pathways that we can target specifically for those patients. The eventual goal of all of this is to try to perform this very advanced sequencing techniques to learn what these weaknesses are in the tumors and we can test particular drugs that could target these weaknesses. And I want to eventually take what we learn in the bench at the, in the laboratory back to the patient so that we can make a difference in their outcome.